Motion, my name is Lily and welcome to the Mo Show Awards. Our first award goes out to JoJo and Josiah. We are so honored to see your relationship with Jesus grow and we want to encourage you to not stop learning more about him because he changes you from the inside out. Also, if you don't follow us on Instagram, our tag is motion underscore W-O-L-C. So make sure you follow us to keep up to date. And our second award goes to our amazing leader, Kendall. Kendall, thank you so much for being a light to our students and being used by Jesus. You are so loved. Our third award goes out to the song of the week, which is New Thing by Hillsong Young and Free. And New Thing reminds me that Jesus never stops refining us. He never stops teaching us new things and we are always being made more like him. What was the last argument that you were in? Uh, maybe it was with a brother or a sister. Maybe it was with a friend. Do you remember what you were arguing about? I know for me, I am a middle child, so I grew up with an older brother and a younger sister, and there was moments when we argued. And I can remember in those moments of arguing, I always just wanted to be right. Like I didn't really care how I made them feel as long as they knew that they were wrong and I was right. See, I don't know if you've noticed, but it seems as if in the world we live in right now, that there's a lot of arguing going on. Whether it's with friends, whether it's with family, whether it's with just people in the world in general, it seems like there's a lot of arguing that's going on. See, and, and that leads me to the question of, as a follower of Jesus, like, is it okay to argue? Like as a follower of Jesus, being someone that wants to be like Jesus, is it okay to argue? See, I, whenever I have moments, when I have questions about how to be a follower of Jesus, I always go back to the word of God. I always go back to the Bible. And I wanna encourage you that anytime you have a question about being a follower of Jesus, that you too can go to the word of God. See, as I went to the word of God, I was able to find out that the Bible does have things to say about arguing. Like arguing is not something that just started, but rather it's something that's been going on for years and years and years. And the Bible actually has something to say about it. In the book of James chapter one, verse number 19, let's read what the Bible has to say. It says, my dear brothers and sisters, take note of this. Everyone should be quick to listen, slow to speak, and slow to become angry. Did you catch that? that it seems as if the Bible isn't as interested in arguing as it is interested in loving. That, that as we are slow to speak, slow to become angry, as we are quick to listen, that we actually can begin to show others love. I want to just bring out those three points. Number one, that we are quick to listen. Being quick to listen simply means that you seek first to understand, then to be understood. What does that mean? That means you care more about hearing what the other person has to say than you do care about winning the argument. That we must be quick to listen, but also slow to speak. Being slow to speak means that we think about what we say before we say it. And I know that at times that can be difficult because for me, that's even difficult at times. But I believe that that's what Jesus desires for us to do. To be quick to listen, to be slow to speak, and to be slow to become angry. See, being slow to become angry means that we care more about the person than we do about the point. Like we care more about the person that we're having the conversation with, so we want to 
love them. We want to care about them. We're not just concerned with winning an argument. I know I've been there before and maybe you have too. But I think that Jesus, being a follower of him, that he would challenge all of us to be quick to listen, to be slow to speak, and to be slow to become angry. See, I want to ask you, are you that way? Are you one that is quick to listen? Do you care about understanding others before them understanding you? Are you one that is slow to speak? Do you think about what you say before you say it or do you just kind of blurt it out? <laughs> are you slow to become angry? Like, are you a person that it's really, really hard to get you upset because you've learned to care about other people so much so that, that you've been able to control your own emotions? That this week, I wanna challenge you to work on one of those three things. That maybe you just need to be a little quicker to listen. Or maybe you need to be a little slower to speak. Or maybe you need to be just a little slower to become angry. See, the cool thing is, is that Jesus demonstrates this for us. Jesus is one who is quick to listen who is slow to speak, who is slow to become angry. Jesus gives us an amazing example of this. And for us as followers of him, well, we want to be like him too. And so this week, I want to challenge you. Be quick to listen. Be slow to speak. And be slow to become angry. Let's pray together. Father, thank you for today. Thank you, God, that you are one who is patient with us. You are one who is kind to us. Thank you that you love us so much that you didn't want to spend eternity without us. So you sent Jesus to the earth for us. That you gave Jesus to us. And Jesus, we thank you that you died on the cross for us, that you rose again on the third day, that you restored our relationship with God. And we thank you that you are patient with us. We thank you that you are kind with us. We thank you that you love us. And this week, Father, I ask that you would help us to be slow to speak. We would be slow to become angry but that in that, that we would also be quick to listen. Father, we love you and we thank you for who you are. And we pray it all in Jesus' name, amen.